Wage. Well, we are gearing up for the September jobs report. Stu out tomorrow. Also, we've got earnings beginning next week. Uh, let's talk jobs, guys. First, the expectation calls for 90,000 new jobs to have been created in the month of September. Futures hovering near the flat line because we're all waiting on these numbers. Your thoughts on the employment story today? Well, I think the employment story today is that we're getting much closer to almost a full employment environment. It's harder to, uh, for companies to find employees that fit their needs. Uh, I think we're going to see some real growth, though, because I think South Florida and Florida as a whole is going to be a huge beneficiary of the damage that was done in the Caribbean for the hurricanes. I think people are going to leave Puerto Rico never to come back, um, especially uh, the U.S. Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico where they're U.S. citizens. So it emigrate. benefits Florida, you think? Florida and then to some degree New York. I think you'll see some here, but Florida is going to have a huge benefit. Wow. Meanwhile, I'm glad you mentioned that because the hurricane is going to put like a short term uh, hold on the growth we've seen, right? Well, what do you think? Right, Lindsay? there's definitely going to be no noise in these jobs numbers on Friday, the 90,000 that you mentioned. It's the first full month that we'll get at the impact from Harvey and Irma. So I think low expectations are baked into these numbers. So any upside could be positive. The ADP number yesterday was about in line with expectations. So you know, there is hope for Friday. All right, so the number will be low, but everybody will be saying, look, this has included what we just saw with these hurricanes. Earnings period. Got to get your take on this. It kicks off on Thursday. Uh, the banks, the bank estimates, just want to point this out. Uh, Deutsche Bank analysts uh, put out a report about a week ago, which I tweeted out, actually, one of my viewers to see it, that every decline of 5% in the corporate tax rate, because we're waiting on the tax plan, uh, a decline of 5% is equivalent to 5 to 8% earnings upside potential for the banks. What are you expecting for earnings? Uh, well, we're expecting it to be a very good quarter. Estimates have come down, like I mentioned earlier, 4% earnings growth is expected in that's the, the third quarter. That's for the S&P 500. For the S&P 500, correct. Um, and, but what we have seen that's remarkable is that the market, just like it has in the last two quarters, has run up about 5% going into the beginning of the earnings period, only for not, because expectations are so high to, to, for the beats, for the numbers to be good. And then once they come in that way, the stocks don't really react because mm. they've already run going into it. I think we're going to see a big step up in uh, employment in the manufacturing, building materials. It's going to be huge, huge demand. And, and, and the Especially for the construction. Sure, right, that's a exactly. great point, Tom. And then also workforce. You're going to see a lot more demand for workers in a construction industry because we're rebuilding Houston, rebuilding a big part of Florida, uh, rebuilding Puerto Rico and other parts of the Caribbean. Not enough human beings to go around, so um, I would expect... Um, you know, salaries and wages to go up. And, and I think building materials are going to, the cost is going to escalate. And I think some inflationary risk is there because the factories have been outputting products based on current demand um, and an expectation of a, a, a slight growth and uptick. This is going to, and, and at the same hand, the U.S. in the major cities is having a building boom yeah. um, out on the West Coast, New York, uh, and South Florida. By the way, guys, one of the top stories in the journal today, uh, right below the fold, Amazon is prime job for new MBAs. Amazon's flood the zone approach to recruiting MBAs is feeding a career frenzy on campuses, rankling um, um, uh, competitive. Amazon is hiring all these people, and MBAs are going to Amazon. Taking over the food industry was not enough. <laughs> they want to take <laughs> over the business school world as well. It, you know, it, it is pretty fascinating to watch how we are really having, it's almost like a black hole, right, with certain companies that are just getting to be so omnipresent in everything that they are taking, a, it's so convenient for the rest of us. You can see why if you were an MBA, Amazon would be the place you'd want to be. It yeah. is sort of the growth engine for pretty much every industry you can think of. It used and to be that MBAs wanted to go to Procter & Gamble. They wanted to go to McKinsey. Now they're going to Amazon. Well, we're, look, our company, we have an 18-acre parcel in Charlotte, and we are um, going to be submitting a proposal to bring Amazon's East Coast um, operations there. And look, a Amazon's disrupted retail permanently. And yeah. the old retail business model does not work anymore. You can see it in Manhattan. You can see it in the shopping malls. Mm. So it's going to change. And yeah. so this dominance won't be forever either, by the way. Yeah, Amazon's the Walmart of the 90s, too. So with the, with the growth comes more speculation, too, and more um, uh, criticism. Now, you said uh, earnings growth, S&P 500, is going to be 4%. That's what the estimate is. What's revenue? 
Revenue is 5.7%. So revenue is still pretty pretty good. Yeah, this will be the third quarter in a row for mid to high single digit revenue, top line growth. Most of the companies that have re- reported so far have beat on the top line about 89%. That is the highest number that we have seen in a very long time. So that's very good for the bottom line, too. Oh, well, the, the earnings that you're talking about, I mean, I'm looking at just the third quarter, which is going to start coming out, right? I mean, it's going to come out beginning next week. Right. And so overall, 5.7 on revenue and 4% on earnings growth is what you're looking at. Yeah. But that's way down from, what did we have, 14% earlier in the year? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, the 2017 estimates at the start of the year was for 12.5%. Now we're looking at 2017 to come in at 10.4%. Mm. Um, but this quarter will be good. The last two quarters have been good. Numbers always come down as you go into the quarter only so that the comp- corporations can be. Don't